Good day. All right, I believe we're on number 10 of the emotions. And as goofy as it sounds, number 10 is boredom of all things. Now, any of you that know me decently well know that that is something that is so foreign to me. Boredom. And when somebody says something like they're bored to me, they might as well be speaking a language that's from a whole different planet. I think there's some deer over here. Anyway, so let's talk about boredom. As I was speaking to one of my earth angel friends and was talking a little bit about boredom, the emotion of boredom. She was saying how she noticed so many people, especially people that are in relationships, how they will do things to sabotage that relationship because they're bored. Now, I think we can all agree that it's deeper than just them being bored, that they're more than likely sabotage, sabotaging relationships because most of the time they're traumatic and, and they don't know how to have peace. They don't know how to have, you know what, there we go. Look at how we just walked right in there. Thank you, Elohim. The God. <laughs> So obviously the emotion of, of boredom comes from those traumatic experiences that, and, and it's a traumatic response. It's a, it's a response to trauma because I don't understand how people can be bored. I enjoy my time with me. I really do. I enjoy the fire out of it. I always have, really. Especially being in nature, but I enjoy that. I enjoy wherever I am. Somebody told me the other day, they said, you know, Rod Baker, it's like home is wherever you are. That's a good point. <laughs> it is. I mean, I'm I'm comfortable wherever I am. But also, I have done so much work on my trauma responses and the effects of that trauma. And I have asked God to turn them to good. I've spent a few days lately thinking about the process it took for me to get to a place where what you thought of me was none of my business and what I thought of you is none, or what I think of you is none of yours. I was trying to recall that process because it started in a book called A New Pair of Glasses when I read it when I was close to a year sober, clean and sober. But it's been this process, right? It's, it's been this process. You, you know, and, and I also want to say, a lot of people have issues with the scripture who the son, and they say set free is free indeed, but it's not. It's made free. Who the son has made free. It's a process of being free. To become free is a process. And if you're not willing to go through that process, you're a voluntary slave. You're a voluntary slave to your emotions, to your addictions, to your thoughts, to your friends. Man, you can't imagine the amount of people that I've dealt with 
that due to what somebody else was going to think about them or what they thought somebody was going to think about them, they sabotage their own life. Their intentions and affections were based on what they thought someone else was going to think about them. Instead of doing the work of facing your emotional atrocities. And that's what they are. Emotional atrocities. And whatever your belief system is, whatever it is, because we all have a belief system. I don't care if you say you don't believe in anything. I don't give a dead gum. You do believe in something. And most of the time, it's the goose flesh in which our lives are built upon. But, if you've got a rock solid belief in a creator, in God, in Elohim, in I'm not even going to get into the other names. <laughs> I'm just not. Whatever you call a power greater than yourself. It takes a relationship with that. to overcome everything. Everything. And if you're bored, you're just lazy. Here, let me say it again. If you're bored, you're just lazy. One more time for the people in the back. If you're bored, you're just lazy. Good day.